carry me over till hopefully Mother's Day. Love is in the air. Valentine's Day is all about spending time with the people we care about. But for businesses, it also means a big boost. For shops that have struggled during the pandemic, it is a saving grace. Now, Ten News reporter Katie Emmett explains the pivots and preps ahead of a big day. When you think of Valentine's Day, flowers, chocolates, and a nice dinner might come to mind. And for those businesses, they're glad it does. And we're slowly getting back up there, but it's taken the big holidays to help. Florist Jennifer Baldwin at the Tilted Tulip says business is blooming leading up to V-Day. She's getting more bouquets ready now than she has the whole pandemic. But the experts predicted with it being the coronavirus and the pandemic that people weren't allowed to go out to eat like they would, so it's supposed to be busier than normal. The National Retail Federation predicts people will spend less money on V-Day in 2021 overall than in years past. The owner of the plaid apron says it has a lot to do with the day at week it falls on, but he's switching up his business model to accommodate. Decided to do the curbside mainly because with it being on a Sunday, um, we can't afford to not do brunch uh, during the restaurant and it would be a very long shift for my employees. Offering a curbside three course meal experience allows them to feed more people both at home and in person. You know, we can't stop. We've got to keep on trucking. We just ask that, you know, don't forget about us. Uh, across the board. Whether it's flowers or food, both owners say supporting local is a way to ensure you're spreading the love. I'm Katie Inman reporting. We have more resources and ideas on how to spend your Valentine's Day safely. It's on our website, WBIR.com.